issue of shares at discount. When shares are issued at a price lower than the face value, they are said to be issued at a discount. So the face value minus the issue price is equal to the discount. Earlier, as per the companies at 1956, the discount could not exceed 10% of the face value of the shares. And it could be issued, a shares could be issued by a company at discount only after one year of operations. It should not be for any new class of shares. However, as per the New Companies Act 2013, shares cannot be issued at a discount. If there is discount in the balance sheet and it is being carried forward, forward, then it is shown under other current or non-current asset depending on whether the discount is intended to be written off within one year. If it is within one year, it is shown under other current asset. If it is intended to be written off over a period of greater than one year, that portion is shown under non-current assets. So, if a rupees 10 share is being issued for rupees 9, then rupee 1 is the discount. The accounting entry in that case would be money is received. So bank account debit, we get only 9 rupees to share application and allotment. And on allotment of shares, the entry would be share application and allotment debit. It's only 9 Discount on issue of shares. This is a capital loss. Discount on issue of shares. That's why it's debited because it is a loss, capital loss. Debit 1, 2. Share capital has to be shown at a face value. Rupees 10. This would be the accounting entry. Let us take an example. A company issued a prospectus inviting the public to subscribe to its issue of 10 lakh shares of 10 each, issued at a discount of 10%. Applications were received for 9 lakh shares, past journal entries. So first we receive. What do we receive? We receive 9 lakh shares. On receipt, and what is the amount we receive? 9 lakh shares into 9. Because... The shares are being issued, they are rupees 10 each, they are being issued at a discount of 10%. That is minus rupee 1, issue price is rupees 9. Therefore, on receipt, we will say bank account debit, 9 lakh shares into 9. Therefore, we get 81 lakh rupees to share application and allotment. Next, on allotment of the shares, it would be share application and allotment. Discount on issue of shares account. How much would this be? This would be rupee 1 per share into 9 lakh shares. That's 9 lakh. To equity share capital or to share capital. How much would this be? 9 lakh into 10, 90 lakhs. So discount account is debited with the amount of discount per share into the number of shares allotted. Share capital is credited with face value per share into number of shares allotted. 